Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. We are beginning the Dice Head campaign um, that is in World War 40k. That uh, website will be linked below. Uh, we are constantly making new missions for that. And as you finish them, you can report your content and uh, change the fate of the planet, uh, continuing the uh, movement forward with the storyline. Um, in this instance, we're playing on Vastum. Uh, this planet is on the edge of the Sictrix Maledictum. It was not destroyed um, by the Warp Storm, but it is close enough that some of the Chaos Forces have made their presence known. Today, the Thousand Suns have made their claim. They are beginning a ritual to start bringing their brothers through, bringing in a warp storm. However, a Tyranid fleet from High Fleet Sawdoth has made landing as well, and they have contested the landing zone. So we are going to be doing a battle between the two with the Thousand Suns as defenders in Mission 1. We will have a link to the mission below. There are six objectives. The Thousand Suns are attempting to defend the table. All the objectives are worth the same to the Thousand Suns. But for the Tyranids, the ones on this side of the board, which is the Thousand Suns side, are worth more points. The ones in No Man's Land are worth a lesser value, and the ones in the Tyranid deployment zone are worth the least. So the Thousand Suns deploy first, the Tyranids deploy in response, and then the Tyranids have the first turn unless the Thousand Suns can seize the initiative. We will be right back with armies. All right, to start things off, we have the Thousand Sons, the half of the battle. So we're playing out of a battalion detachment. Uh, first HQ in the Warlord is a Demon Prince with a demonic axe and wings. His psychic powers are Gaze of Fate and Flickering Flames. Then I have an Exalted Sorcerer, uh, just stock, no, nothing special. His psychic powers are Gift of Chaos and Prescience. Then I have a Sorcerer in Terminator Armor with a Familiar and his psychic powers are Warp Time and Infernal Gaze. For my troops in the army, I have five squads of ten Zangors. Then I have two squads of ten Rubrics. Uh, the two sergeants, are their psychic powers are Glamour of Zinch and Weaver of Fates. For my elites, I have a single squad of uh, six Terminators with a Soul Reaper Cannon. The Terminator Sorcerer has Doombolt. Then I have two squads of three spawn in fast attack, and my heavy supports are rounded out with a pair of forge fiends with Hades auto cannons and demon jaws. All right, that is the Thousand Suns contribution to warfare. We will be right back with the Tyranids. Next up, we have the Tyranids, 2,000 points. We are coming in two detachments. We have a battalion. We also have a spearhead. Uh, starting things off with the spearhead detachment, we have a hive tyrant in the back with wings. Uh, he has two sets of death spitters with slimer maggots. He's also the warlord. He has instinctive killer, and he has chosen the chaos spawn for that. He has adaptive camouflage as his relic, and then he has catalyst and dominion as his psychic powers. Uh, joining him in that spearhead, we have a Trigon Prime and two Carnifexes. The Carnifexes have uh, four Death Spitters with Slimer Maggots each, Enhanced Senses, and Spore Cysts. In the Battalion Detachment, we have a Broodlord and a Venom Thro or a Neurothrope rather, leading that. Uh, the Broodlord has Onslaught, the Neurothrope has the Horror. Um, they have two squads of Zoanthropes flanking them there. Uh, the first brood of Zoanthropes has Psychic Scream, the second brood has Dominion. Um, they are joined by Nerf, or Venom Thropes in the Fast Attack, or Elite slot. I'll get it right here in a minute. Um, in the Fast Attack slot, we have two squads of 10 Gargoyles. And then for the troops, we have two squads of 10 Gene Stealers, uh, 20 Hormigaunts with Adrenal Glands, and our latest painting project up front, we have 30 Devil Gaunts um, with uh, Devourers. So you have seen the armies, and you have seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the Maelstrom. Deployment is complete. Josh is going to walk us down the Thousand Suns as they did deploy first. All right, so I set up the Zangors in their traditional position along the front. They are our screen to protect the rubrics and the heavy supports from getting locked in on those early uh, deep striking elements of the Tyranids. The rubrics are backing them up with the intention of being able to step up into rapid fire range on any advanced elements. Put my spawn on both flanks, and my Terminators and the Terminator Sorcerer are in Deep Strike Reserve. 
All right, now in counter to that, the Tyrion is deployed to one flank to try to refuse most of the board. We have the Gene Stealers on this flank, uh, the Venom Throbs right in the center to give everybody buffs. Got the Carnifexes in the back here, along with the Brigglord and Neurothrope. We got Hormagons running a screen across the front, and then we have the two broods of Zoanthropes. The Hive Tyrant, the Gargoyles, the Trigon Prime, and the Devil Gaunts are in their various modes of alternate deployment. So, uh, the Tyranids do have the first turn, but the Thousand Suns have the option to seize the initiative. So on a six, they will take it away. We'll see what happens. With a four, they do not. So the Tyranids will have the first turn. We will be back following their initial engagement. <laughs> Tyranid turn one is up to the assault phase. Everything made a general advance. Indeed, everything advanced. Uh, even the Carnifexes couldn't hardly get line of sight. Probably played them a bit conservatively, but they went ahead and advanced. Uh, we dropped everything in the end of the movement phase, except for one brood of gargoyles. We've got the Hive Tyrant here. One brood of gargoyles landed on the flank. And then over here, we tunneled in with the Trigon, along with the 30 Devil Gaunts. Um, psychic phase, uh, smiting bought us first blood. We were able to kill all three of the spawn with smite. And then in the shooting phase between the two Carnifexes and the Hive Tyrant, we, are, we were able to kill uh, a bunch of Zangors. You can see there the markers. Tons of them went down. Down here, uh, first time I have played Devourer Gaunts uh, in this number, and they were pretty gruesome as well. First volley killed all 10 Zangors in the first squad. We then paid two points to shoot again and burn the other 10, so 20 Zangors laid low there. Um, pretty gruesome shooting. Uh, the Trigon also fired. He was able to put five wounds on the spawn, but only, what, two got through? Two wounds got through. Uh, so that is the end of uh, the shooting phase. We still have the charge phase to go. Uh, these uh, Gene Steelers are looking to make a charge. They did take an opportunistic advance as usual. Um, we will be back once the Tyranid Assault phase has rolled to an end. Tyranid Assault phase rolls to an end. One thing I did forget to mention in the socket phase, the Hive Tyrant did put Catalyst on himself, but he did perils in the warp and lose two wounds in the process. Um, in the Assault phase, the Trigon Prime was unable to make his distance down here to the spawn, uh, but the Gene Steelers did make it to the uh, Zangors up front. They were able to slice them to ribbons. They consolidated into the next squad and lost one man in the process of that. Uh, so we're down to a couple of morale checks. Uh, we have the squad that's locked up with the Gene Steelers. Um, there are three left, so a 12 will finish them off, right? And then the other squad has lost five, so they need a three to be okay. Well, a four, one of them will flee. Um, so that is the end of Tyranid's turn one. First blood has been scored. Thousand Sun response, coming up. Thousand Suns are up to the assault phase. They had a pretty good answer here in return. Uh, they dropped their Sorcerer back here on their baseline. They dropped the Terminators behind us. Um, in the shooting phase, the Terminators took Veterans of the Long War, fired in here, had a pretty good little shooting phase, knocked down 11 of the Gaunts. Uh, the spawn moved up to assault, and the uh, first squad of Rubrics moved up and took a warp time to move a little closer. They fired here, along with a couple of other things, brought the uh, Trigon down to two wounds. Um, the uh, Forge Fiend there in the back had Flickering Flames and Demon Forge. He was able to put six of those wounds in, and the rest of the stuff brought the rest of those wounds out. Gene Steelers here ate the end that we all saw coming. They were all slaughtered between the psychic phase, a couple of smites, and a bunch of inferno bolts. Uh, so they were cut down. Um, that is the end of the shooting phase. So next up, we have a couple of assaults that are coming in. We will be back once the Thousand Suns have had their last word for the turn. All right, Thousand Suns have finished their turn. The spawn charged in and took a faded mutation uh, to reroll their dice. It was a good thing, too. Uh, they automatically chose to reroll wounds. Uh, they only had like seven attacks to start with, but they rerolled it to 10 or 11 uh, and only scored one wound, but were able to cut him down when they used their reroll that they automatically got from Faded Mutation. Uh, down here, the Zangors charged in against the Gargoyles. They were able to slay four of the Gargoyles, but the Gargoyles were able to kill two Zangors in return. Um, so the Gargoyles are in uh, Synapse range. The Zangors did not take enough casualties to need morale. That should leave us with the only morale check being here. Um, I've lost so many that I will lose 7 plus a D6, so I'm going to go ahead and burn 2 points for Insane Heroism to keep them in the fight. So that will leave the Tyranids with 1 command point remaining. Uh, the Thousand Suns have 2. Uh, we will be back as the Tyranids answer in the second turn of the game. <laughs> Thousand 
Tyranids have finished up their turn two to the assault phase. Uh, these Gaunts uh, moved away and advanced in an attempt to put some distance between them and the Thousand Suns, um, trying to get back in synapse range. Uh, the rest of the bugs kind of did a shuffle here towards the center. Uh, we used our last point for a, an opportunistic advance to run these Steelers up. Um, the Broodlord moved to the center, and the Hormagons moved to this flank to try to fight those last two Zangors, while the uh, Gargoyles fell back towards this guy. Since we are playing High Fleet Kraken, we're looking for a charge there. Uh, psychic phase was brutal. Uh, in the psychic phase, we killed all 10 rubrics there. We also put, uh, what, four wounds in the forge vein? So four wounds in that forge vein. Um, then in the shooting phase, the hive tyrant flew over here. He knocked two of the three spawn down. And then the two carnifex has killed 8,000 suns. The rubrics were just butchered under there. Um, crazy bad luck. I think I did six wounds with the first carnifex, and he failed five saves. Um, no, that wasn't actually it. It was these guys. Um, these guys brought down three of them to start with. They were hitting on fives after having advanced uh, and still managed to bring down three. And then the Carnifex has brought the rest of the squad down to just the two guys that are remaining. Uh, rough turn there for the Thousand Suns. Um, assault phase is coming up next. We'll be back after the Tyranids make their charges. Tyranids have finished up their assault phase. Uh, the Gargoyles made it in against the Forge Fiend. They were unable to hurt him, but he killed four of them in return. They are within range of the Broodlord, however, so they're sticking it out. Uh, the Hormagons ran over the two Zangors down here and consolidated into this combat here and uh, get moving towards it. Uh, down here, the Gene Stealers made their charge against the Sorcerer. They were only able to wound him three times with 40 attacks, so he hung in there like a champ. Uh, we used our additional move to lock up the Forge Fiend. Between him and the Sorcerer, they put six wounds on the Gene Steelers. We lost three of them after their invulnerable saves. So, uh, we have a morale check on uh, the source, or on the Rubrics back here. We got two of them remaining. Um, uh, let's see. So, there are eight. So, the D6 is how many they're going to lose. They're down to one point with a kicker. So, we're going to try again. And a two will get them exactly. So the rubrics have fled the field. Um, that is the end of Tyranid's turn two. We will be back as the Thousand Suns launch their attack. Thousand Suns turn two is finished up to the assault phase. Um, the Terminator stepped around the end here. Uh, with Smite, they managed to bring down one Termagant, and then their shooting managed a whopping one uh, with six bolter rounds, a uh, bunch of hits, but no damage. And the uh, Soul Reaper cannon brought one down. Over here in the psychic phase, they were able to kill off all the Gene Stealers and free them up here. Uh, shooting from the Forge Fiend was then able to bring down one of the Venom Thropes and leave one at one wound. And then the Bolter Fire from the Terminator Sorcerer was able to finish another one off. Um, over here, nothing could connect. Smite failed, uh, and they were unable to bring those Gargoyles out of combat there. Uh, but the Prince looks like he's ready to eat them in close combat. So that is the end of uh, Thousand Suns turn two in the shooting phase. They will be right back after the assault. Thousand Suns have wrapped up their assault phase. The spawn made it in here and was able to slice up three of the Gaunts. He did take one wound on Overwatch and one in return in close combat. So he has two wounds remaining, but he did manage to kill three Gaunts in the process. Down here, no surprise, the Demon Prince sliced and diced the two Gargoyles and ended that combat. So that is the end of Thousand Suns turn two. Tyranid response coming up. Start of turn three, the Tyranid supply drop began. Uh, we selected three objectives, and this was the one that was randomly determined. Uh, at the end of the movement phase, we dropped our second brood of gargoyles here to hold on to that supply drop. In the psychic phase, we were able to burn down the uh, Forge Fiend here. Uh, finish him off. He did not explode. Uh, we were also able to smite this uh, Terminator Sorcerer for three wounds and then he was finished off by Death Spitters in the shooting phase. Over here we were able to kill the last spawn with one of the Carnifexes. The second Carnifex then fired through and put four wounds on the Forge Fiend back there. The Prince also lost one wound to Psychic Shriek from the uh, Zoanthropes and then afterwards lost his ability to smite for the rest of the game. We rolled an 11 on that. Uh, so we did shred the part of his brain that remembered how to smite. Uh, Prince took one mortal wound from that. That's where we are at at the end of the psychic phase uh, and the shooting phase. The assault phase is coming up next. 
turn the assault phase rolls to an end. The Hormagants and the Broodlord went into the Demon Prince to start things off. Uh, the Broodlord was able to punch a ton of wounds out of him, leaving him with two wounds remaining. Uh, the Hormagants were then able to drag one extra wound out themselves. That left the Demon Prince with one wound. He was able to connect with three blows despite being under the horror and crushed the Broodlord and killed him in the assault phase. Uh, but he is left at one wound himself. Over here, the Hive Tyrant was not hurt on his charge, but he did charge into the Lone Sorcerer down here. Uh, the Sorcerer was unable to do anything to him, but he put one more wound in the Sorcerer, leaving him at one. Uh, so that is the end of the Tyranid turn. The uh, Thousand Sun response is coming up now in the bottom of three. In the Thousand Suns turn, we determined the second random airdrop. It was the objective here by the Sorcerer and the Hive Tyrant. Um, in the shooting phase, uh, first off, we moved back. The uh, Demon Prince fell back from combat with just his one wound remaining. Uh, we did forget he did not have Smite anymore until he got over here, went to cast it, and said, uh, I forgot what I was doing. Uh, the Prince was a, or the Sorcerer was able to Smite and do one more wound to the Hive Tyrant. He also hit him and wounded him with his pistol, but the Hive Tyrant made his invulnerable save. Uh, the Forge Fiend fired over here. Uh, he received Presence from the uh, Sorcerer. He was able to kill one of the Zoanthropes. Uh, and then over here, the Terminators are still trudging, trying to get back in this. They fired up the field and were able to knock out five more of the Devil Gaunts. Uh, we went ahead and rolled the assault phase as well. Uh, nothing happened there. Total gong show. The two uh, attackers bounced off of each other. Forge Fiend attempted to recharge the Hormagaunts, but was unable to make the charge. So that is the end of Thousand Suns, turn three. Tyranid response, coming up. <laughs> Tyranid turn four is up to the assault phase. There will not be an assault phase, so that is the end of the Tyranid's turn. Uh, everything moved around down here to try to finish off the top up here. Uh, the Hive Tyrant managed to knock three wounds out of himself when he attempted to cast Catalyst and also failed Smite. Uh, but he was able to bring the Demon Prince down with his Death Spitters in the shooting phase. Uh, the last Sorcerer there went down to a Smite from the Neurothrope who could barely see him over the walls. Uh, and then the Forge Fiend was brought down to one wound by the rest of the Smites. Uh, the first of the two Carnifexes then turned and fired, took the last wound out, and this dude went out big time to finish his, the game up. He put three more wounds in the Tyrant, leaving him at four wounds. Um, killed the last Venom Throp, another Zoanthrope, and three Gaunt, so he was mad when he blew up. Uh, but that is the end of that. Over here, the second Carnifex and the Devil Gaunts fired. Uh, combined, we're able to bring down one of the Scarab Occult. At that point, the Thousand Suns are going to throw in the towel. Not much else they can do from there. Uh, give us a like and a comment below. Let us know what you thought we could have done different and also the things that you enjoyed about the game. Uh, subscription on YouTube means more than you know, guys. We're definitely in the mood for those. So if you want to give us a subscription, make sure you do that before you leave the video. Uh, like on Facebook is the best way to see our new content. As always, thank you for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.